always um, want to make sure that our silage is stored uh, in such a way that the sap is always collected. Silage sap is uh, one of the most gluten substances that there, that there is. Two pints and 2,000 gallon released into the river will kill all the fish in the river. That's a very small amount of silage sap and um, in a big silo there could be hundreds of gallons of it. So we have to make sure that that silage sap is collected. And um, we collect the silage sap and we take it out and put it on the land. It doesn't do any harm to put it on the ground. It provides nutrients and uh, that sets its fertilizer to make the grass grow again. Slurry is stored in sealed tanks as well, or slatic tanks. And um, slurry is potentially a pollutant as well. Not just as, as big a pollutant as silage definite, but still potentially uh, it can ca cause a lot of problems. Um, slurry is a valuable nutrient on farms, it's a valuable fertilizer, and we want to use that fertilizer wisely. The slurry is stored in tanks until the springtime or summertime, and then it's taken out and spread in the land. Obviously, as an organic farm, the dung is even more important to us. A lot of this is, is, is from the cattle that we house over the winter. They're eating silage. All the nutrients in the silage have come out of the ground, so we've got to get them back onto the ground or we won't get any grass the following year on our silage field. So the dung is really important, and we've got to keep as much of that as we possibly can, especially the potassium. Um, we want to try and keep that. It's soluble. If the rain goes on it, we lose a lot of it, um, so keeping it... Um, away from the wind and uh, away from the wet is really important to us. What we've got here is just the end bays we use as a, a covered dung store and that helps us both if we've got too much dung and we can't get it on the ground because it's too wet or it's frozen so we can store dung in there but we can also turn it which means we can start to compost it a little bit and that's much better for our vegetables if we haven't got a lot of straw in it that's all sort of um, rough so if we can compost it we can then use it later on in the year um, or even the following season with our vegetables and it's it's broken down better it's more stable um, and you get less runoff and less nutrient loss from it so here is our less than ideal um, dung bin outside basically when we had to um, clear out the pig shed in the winter we couldn't spread it it was too wet we couldn't put it in the covered midden because there was too much straw in there because we couldn't store the straw because we had the hay somewhere so just like any other small farm, you run out of space. So we put it here, well away from any watercourses, and any effluent from this will run down into the grass paddock. So hopefully we'll get some of that still used, and we'll be spreading it as soon as it's dry enough to get back on the ground. The meal on the farm is stored in steel bins. The purpose of the steel bins is to make sure the meal is kept dry and it is kept free from birds and rodents. Birds and rodents carry many diseases, for instance, leptospirosis and so on which if they have access to the meal, their droppings and so on can lead to these conditions being passed on to the animals and causing uh, production uh, loss and diseases. So the meal is stored in the bins and it's in there, it's safe, it's dry, it's clean and um, very secure. Fuel oil is, uh, is stored in uh, plastic uh, containers and uh, tanks and uh, it is stored in, in a place that is well away from water so that um, there's, you don't want to see any pollution incidents occur. So there's always a, a couple of safety valves on it to make sure that if one is left on, the other one is closed so there's no leakages. Do not want fuel oil uh, going into water courses because it kills fish and causes a lot of environmental damage. So this is our very small diesel storage tank for the farm. Um, we're not a big farm and we don't like using diesel, so um, we use as little as possible. But we've put it up on this um, concrete step here to keep it away from traffic, so something's much less likely to bump into it. We've got these posts here to keep it off any boom that was coming past. Um, and it's a bonded tank, it's a new tank. Um, and it's a manual um, pump, which makes you realize every time you're using diesel because you can't just switch on an electric pump, you have to manually pump it into the tractor, which does you good. Uh, pesticides are stored in a locked cupboard. There's a record kept of all the pesticides, where they are and when they're used, uh, so, so that we know what has been used, where it has been used and how much, and um, that, that keeps a record of everything that's going on there.